Okay, well, welcome friends. Uh, this is a quick video on how to set up the Skywalker V2 series. So with the Skywalker V2 series, you're gonna have a single, well, two cables that come out and a single cable that comes out of the ESC and breaks up into two plugs. You're gonna have a single yellow plug, which is your programming wire and your reverse signal wire, and then you have your standard throttle signal plug. Uh, what you're going to want to do is make sure that your the white wire and the throttle signal is lined up with the signal, and then power is in the middle and ground's also lined up on your receiver on the throttle channel. Uh, on this particular model, uh, the throttle is set up on channel 2. So I have the throttle wire set up in channel 2, and then I have the reverse wire set up uh, in channel 7 currently. And I don't have the programming set, so the reverse function is not going to work at the moment. But the basic calibration of a Skywalker ESC is that you're going to power the radio on, you're going to throw the throttle all the way to the max position, then you're going to plug in a battery. You should get a couple beeps, wait for two beeps, and then throttle down. It should give you the uh, cell count and then a final startup tone. And then all you got to do, throttle works from there. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is program the ESC. And to program the ESC, what you're going to do is you're going to take your any of the LED program cards. And even though this one says it's for the Easy Run Max Car Series, the sticker is just a general reference for a line of ESCs. This is the same programmer that will be used across multiple lines, multiple of the Hobbywing lines. So to program this, you're gonna take your throttle wire and use that to power the programming card. So if you see here, it's on the second plug, the middle plug, in the middle of the programmer. The minus sign is on the left, so we're going to line up the black wire to the minus, and that's going to provide power. Then we're going to take the yellow wire and line that up with the signal symbol, which looks like a little ohm symbol, an upside down U, and we're going to plug that in there. Once we have that set up, all we're going to do is simply plug in a battery. It's going to boot up and go right into your programming modes. From the programming modes, if I want the reverse wire to work now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to the programming chart that is in my user's manual here. One second as I open this up. And that says programmable items. What we're going to do is we're going to set this to, for the brake type, we're going to set it to reverse brake. And what that's going to do is that that's going to use the reverse wire. So it's going to be option one, setting a programmable item one, setting three. And that will allow me to use a switch to engage reverse on the motor. So we're going to set that programming item one to three. So we're already on one. We're going to change the value to one, two, three. We're going to hit OK. It flashes to save, and in order for you to actually save the programming on this, you have to unplug the battery, and then plug it back in. And if you see, once it calculates it, it's gonna to go to option one, setting three. So that's set up now. And what we're gonna do now is that I'm gonna set the switch that I have on for reverse, which is this guy right here. It has to be in the low position when you power up the ESC or else it'll give you a constant fail safe tone. So once again, I'm going to align my ground, the black wire with the correct pin alignment. And this is channel two on this setup. So I'm going into channel two. I have that switch set up on channel seven. This yellow wire goes to the signal, which is on the top of this one. So that's going to go in channel seven here. We're going to plug the battery back in. I have every, I've already calibrated the CSC, so when I plug it in, normal startup tones, initialization tones, and then when I raise the throttle, it spins right now counterclockwise. Now when I flip the switch to the high position and I throttle up, you see how it's going clockwise. And that is the basic setup of the Skywalker series.